then I after that I finished my internship and in 2008 and then I joined the Armed Forces Medical Services Indian Army in 2009 sir so from then on I was a short service commission officer went on to take my permanent commission did my post graduation in MD anesthesiology from AFMC Pune and then did my DND also then I uh, attempted my super speciality selection in the armed forces itself last year sir where I got qualified sir I uh, from my seniors and my friends I got to know about speed coaching center for uh, super speciality uh, for both INI as well as NEET SS I'm really thankful to uh, speed sir uh, uh, because it actually laid a basic foundation and a platform for my learning curve from the initial days. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Lagarish BL for scoring a topmost rank of CML rank number 2, AML rank number 2 in a specialty of DM Critical Care Medicine in any SS November 2023. Congratulations and best wishes to you, Lieutenant Colonel. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And it is a very uh, honor and privilege to have you here today uh, because we have a lot of respects for two things. One, as in the service you are in and we have a lot of respect towards that. And number two, and you are doing the medical services for the people who are at need, who are saving our nation. Best wishes for both at the very outset. Thank you, sir. Now, can we know our brief background from where you started your medical career till date, what all you have done? I have uh, graduated uh, my MBBS from uh, Sri Adi Chinchinegari Institute of Medical Sciences, AIMS, from uh, Bellu, sir, Karnataka. Um, and from there on, I uh, after that, I finished my internship and in 2008. And then I joined the uh, Armed Forces Medical Services Indian Army in 2009, sir. So from then on, I was a short service commission officer, went on to take my permanent commission. Um, did my post graduation in MD anesthesiology from AFMC Pune and then did my DND also. Then I uh, attempted my super speciality uh, selection in the armed forces itself last year, sir, where I got qualified. And uh, there I could opt uh, critical care medicine as my subject so that I could appear in the INISS, oblique need SS. And uh, that's how uh, I could uh, clear this exam this November, sir. Although I was attempting from uh, last November itself, uh, November and then April session both, but I had just begun my preparations in November uh, and it almost took uh, two INIs to get here, sir. And uh, being from the anesthesia background, maybe it was the learning curve and the preparation curve was a little more compared to the uh, my colleagues in medicine and respiratory medicine probably. <laughs> Very nice. Can we know what, uh, how all you prepared? How do you prepare to achieve this topmost rank? Uh, sir, I uh, from my seniors and my friends, I got to know about Speed uh, uh, Coaching Center for uh, Super Speciality uh, for both INI as well as NEET SS. And then I had subscribed uh, Speed initially. And then uh, I could see that uh, the preparation uh, uh, method for INI and the NEET is completely different. As I could also watch your videos, sir, you telling the students in the interview that... Uh, uh, the preparation is different and uh, it almost took me three months, two to three months to realize that the preparation is actually different. So uh, initially I was preparing for INI and then um, I I was following most of the speed classes for critical care here. Uh, basically uh, classes from Varun sir and Hari sir also initially. Uh, both the classes were very informative in fact. And then when I gave my INI and when I couldn't get through initially, then I switched my preparations to NEET SS where uh, the speed material for NEET is, is actually very, very good. I mean, the kind of uh, subspeciality coaching and the topics that's been taken by a lot of uh, uh, teachers in NEET, uh, in speed for NEET SS is actually very excellent. I, I from an anesthesia background, could actually uh, appreciate it and then trying to grasp those things, made my own notes and then preparing it again uh, was not easy. Although uh, the need didn't give me a, a good rank this time, but then, then I again switched over to INI for this November and then uh, continued with my preparation, sir. I also would like to mention that I had also subscribed to another classes for critical care, online critical care classes from Dr. Hari, sir. Uh, I could follow both Hari, sir and Varun, sir from speed and that's how I could get, get here, sir. Very good.
uh, really nice that, that you could share your experience on how you did it. Now, yeah. what is the message that you want to give for the future aspirants of uh, people who want to do DM critical care medicine from an ACC background? I said, you have to be very clear whether you want to actually, uh, either you're looking at INISs or NEET SS because the preparation curves are completely different. The advantage of uh, NEET SS is that you have more number of seats and, uh, but then you need to stick to, you know, uh, preparing medicine completely and uh, a bit of anesthesia and bit of uh, critical care, but it's completely medicine oriented. And, but then if you look at preparing for INISs, uh, I think you need to stick to core critical care uh, topic a bit of anesthesia and medicine sir. to design this in your mind whether actually you want to like INI or need because for us from the anesthesia background I think it's become a very um, a strange um, you know uh, thing and it's a little peculiar that although the preparations are different but then if, if you prepare accordingly what you need to then I think it, it becomes easy sir because uh, in my case I was mixing it up actually preparing for INI and coming back to need again INI so Somewhere, uh, it took me uh, almost a year from last November to this November. So that you need to be very clear. Time to thank and you can use this platform to thank who have helped you to date to achieve this what you are today. I'm really thankful to uh, Speed, sir, uh, uh, because it actually laid a basic foundation and a platform for my learning curve from the initial days. And uh, thanks to all my teachers uh, at Speed, uh, especially the critical care part of the coaching, because I was uh, focused on um, uh, the critical care exams only. And thanks to Varun sir and Harish sir both for their invaluable classes at Speed. And uh, I, I wish uh, the more number of students would join and then uh, you know pursue their dreams in achieving whatever they want, uh, whether it's NEET, SS or INISS, I think uh, this is the right platform to actually prepare and excel. Thank you so much. Great. And before we could close, one question is why critical care? I mean, what fascinated you to have that as your choice? Uh, sir, actually from my initial days, I was more of a medicine guy, sir, uh, uh, before I took anesthesia. Uh, but then uh, when I got into anesthesia, mm -hmm. anesthesia is an uh, amazing uh, speciality. I loved it. Uh, I really thoroughly enjoyed anesthesia till now. But then there's something which I wanted to, you know, uh, do uh, close, uh, something close to medicine, sir. And I think critical care medicine is one subject uh, where, uh, you know, you're dealing with that kind of uh, patients in the ICU, uh, that one-to-one -one interaction, and then uh, the kind of, the adrenaline rush you have and uh, the, uh, the kind of uh, the satisfaction you feel after you probably see a patient walking out of the ICU uh, when he's fine, uh, that gives a lot of uh, satisfaction to you, sir. Uh, so that is one reason I always like critical care. And also uh, a few of my teachers in the armed forces uh, who've done it uh, from uh, various institutions, central institutions, they always inspired me. Uh, one is Colonel Sham, sir, uh, who is presently uh, the head of critical care at Pune. So, they all inspired me, sir. That's how it is. Great, doctor. Nice to hear from you. Sir. And once again, we wish you all the best and all the success. You have a great Thank career you. in DM critical care medicine learning and also in practice of critical care. Best wishes to you. Thank you so much, sir. And all the best to uh, this PE team also for, uh, for giving us such a wonderful platform to learn and excel, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay.